Today, another politician tries to win over Colorado voters. She doesn't get as much airtime. She isn't paying millions in ad campaigns. But Green candidate Jill Stein says she isn't backing down. Denver 7 reporter Eric Lufer is in Colorado Springs where she rallied her supporters. Eric. Molly, a lot of people ask, what is the Green Party? Well, I will tell you, it's a party that follows principles like social justice and protecting the environment. Dr. Jill Stein represents that group and she has another message. She says forget the rhetoric about the lesser of two evils that's being said by the Republicans, the Democrats. Instead, follow a path for the greater good. Here we have an underdog. I want to thank you for refusing to be silenced, for refusing to be discouraged. A voice for perhaps the voiceless. We want open debates. We want the third parties to have the opportunity to, to say what they have to say and not just constantly be force fed Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Dr. Stein has her points of debate. And I want to thank you for being a sign of hope and courage and peace in a community which is hurting from the realities of the military system. Ones she hopes resonates with the always important unaffiliated voter. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. That's what a third party candidate does. Kill my this vibrant group of Stein supporters knows it's a tough road ahead to get their gal in the White House, but to them it's worth it. The Green Party is the only party that uh, is facing up to the realities of the world today. Forget the lesser evil, fight for the greater good! Dr. Stein will finish her Colorado trip in Boulder and Denver tomorrow. I'm Eric Lufer, Denver 7. Eric, thank you. And speaking of the Green Party, new numbers show more and more Colorado voters are registering Green and Libertarian. Right now, there are more than 35,000 registered Libertarian voters and more than 11,000 Green Party voters.